Hey guys, what's up? So Sicilian is probably the next hero that will be released in original server. I'm guessing he will be released near Valentine's Day. Because as you all know, Sicilian and Carmilla are a couple. But that's just my guess. Anyway, I played Sicilian for a few games in the advanced server and here is my review. First, let's check out the pros of Sicilian. Sicilian is extremely easy to use. Use second skill and then follow up with consecutive use of skill 1. That's all there is. You can use his ultimate whenever an enemy gets too near. The level of difficulty is just so low with this hero. The range of his two skills is so good. You can reach the squishy heroes behind the tanks with his first and second skill. Sicilian felt a bit like the mini version of Farsa's range. Another good thing about his skills is that it is stronger when you're farther from the target. This forces you to be in a safe distance all the time. Good damage from early to late game. Unlike other mages whose damage is only great in early to mid, Sicilian's damage is quite good all throughout the game. His early to mid game damage can be boosted by lightning transfer. His late game damage comes from his passive skill where he gains mana permanently. And if you don't know yet, the damage of all of his skills gets higher as he gains more mana. Now let's check out what I didn't like about Sicilian. Sicilian needs purple buff. His first skill's mana consumption increases every time it's used. With the purple buff, you can feel a huge difference when he uses that skill. You can spam your first skill more than 4 times if you have the purple buff. It's gonna be hard to compete with a buff especially if you have a Fanny or Ling teammate. Sicilian's weakness is close combat. His skills are made for long distance damage. He can't push enemies away with his second skill if they are too near. His first skill damage is lower against nearby enemies. Sicilian's skills are simply weaker when enemies are near him. The only skill that works in close combat is his ultimate. He has no escape skill. Sicilian has movement speed bonus from his skills but sometimes that's not enough. If an enemy Teresla or Esmeralda jumps right to him, it's gonna be hard to escape. I think Sicilian is gonna be a good pick once he comes out in the original server. You can kinda counter the two pawns by using the flame shot spell. If an enemy comes near, you can just push them away with flame shot. On this game, this is the build that I've used. My Carmilla. I've also used the mage talent in pure mage for mana region and damage. Embrace <sighs> night in, night out, year uh. after year. Legendary. 
Do you fear red? I embrace it. <sighs> Living forever is not a blessing, but a curse. An ally has been slain. Bloody embrace. Turtle resurrecting so soon. Double kill. Fear rises, yet love stays still. My Carmina, why are you so- Mega kill! Fear rises, yet love stays still. Our turret has been destroyed. Godlike! Hmm. My Carmilla, why are you so cold Stop. and pale? Just like the moonlight. Forever is not a blessing, but a curse. Feel the bloody embrace. Legendary. Your team destroyed a turret. Legendary. Fear rises. Yes. Unstoppable! An enemy has been slain! So cold and pale is the moonlight and my Carmilla. Fear rises, yet love Mega kill! Do you fear love? I Double kill! Feel the bloody Your embrace! Your team destroyed a turret! Hmm. Such a tender land of the moon. So what can you say about Cecilia? Is he worth your 32k battle points? Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. That's all for this video. Thank you for watching.